Hey guys, welcome to another video from me, Stephen Hamilton, the founder of The Property Circle. You might recognise this from a previous video with Max Wallison, our operations manager at The Property Circle. This is Zach Collins' detached bungalow. It's a two bedroom which is refurbing into a four bedroom. Zach is a member of The Property Circle. He came to our education programme around two months ago. So let's go inside, have a catch up with him, see how he's getting on. Guys, you might recognise Zach from a previous video that was shot on our channel with Max. We're going to come in today, take a look around, see how far you've got. Yeah. Happy days? Yeah, so let's go take a look inside. Wow, this is huge. It's kitchen diner. Um, took your advice from last time, removing this chimney breast getting rid of this wall and just opening up this massive space. Guys, this is the first time I've seen this house today. When Max came last time, I wasn't able to make it, obviously, Zach. Yep. But you did send me a video, and this was a brick wall with a door here. Yes, that's right. Chimney breast there? Chimney breast, yeah. I said to Zach that I would knock this out because he was going to have it as two separate rooms, yep. wasn't you? That's so right. obviously, it seems like you took my advice. Um, great thing to do, if I'm honest, because I believe now, from looking at it, you're going to put a U-shaped kitchen in. Yeah, U-shaped kitchen, nice fridge freezer built in there sink so you've got the view and everything outside and over here nice kitchen area maybe a breakfast table utilizing these massive bay windows plenty of space also sealed off the wall um, into the living room just to create this a little separate living area yeah that's really smart house maybe an island if yeah, the budget uh, allows yeah um, I think I, with the budget that I've proposed so far I think I've got enough to get a nice island in. spotlights all the way through I'll probably yeah spotlights uh, that's one thing we've redone the entire electrics in this house so everything's going to be lovely and fresh. It's a great space, really like this now. The dining room side, open plan kitchen, it can only add value to the house. Absolutely. Okay, that's good. Let's move on, show me some more. So let me quickly show you around. In here we've got a new bathroom getting fitted, two bedrooms downstairs and a lovely size living room. So, one thing I have noticed with this bungalow is how big the rooms are. Um, the size of it is absolutely incredible. The windows are huge. The light that comes into this place is amazing. You've yeah. got to be really happy with this purchase. Absolutely, I'm over the moon. I'm excited to see the two bedrooms upstairs as well. So yeah. you've gone from a two bed to a four bed. Yes, that's right. Got that's a lovely, decent sized space upstairs. And yeah, I'll show you around that soon. That's incredible. A couple of things I wanted to ask you. Yep. You've been a member of the Property Circle now for around two, two and a half months? Yes, yeah, just over two months. What have you benefited from it and what have you found you haven't got any help with or anything like that? Be completely honest, I don't really yeah, care no. as long as you tell the truth. So one of the things which I said in the previous video was a lot of the works I wanted to do myself. And since joining up, I've realised your, your network is your net worth. You need that support and everyone around you. Yeah. And the amount I'm putting into the mortgage is starting to eat into my profits. So the quicker I can get this done, the quicker I can turn it around and get a tenant in better. Yeah. I've just met your tenants. Yeah, he's literally just walked in. He's, in, he's helping uh, refill the house as well. And he wants to get in here soon. So he's Zach getting was really, really smart. He's got a tenant who's going to move in. Do you know what rent you've agreed or are you just waiting until the house is finished? Um, we're going to wait, but I've got a rough idea about 650, 700. Okay, so he's got a tenant who's actually in the garden right now. Is it Michael? Mike here? Yeah, Mike. Um, he's actually helping renovate the whole house to get in sooner. So you paying him anything? Nope, he's actually given me money to help get everything done sooner. So not only has he been given money to help renovate his own house, he's got the tenant ready to move in. How long do you reckon it's gonna to take to finish this now? I wanna get this done in a month. Okay, so a month. I was close with two to three weeks that we yeah. talked about, yeah. but a month you're happy it'll be done. The amount of works and everything, and just due to costs and supply, trying to get everything on time, about a month hopefully I can get it done. Guys, you can see the, the where this house is and what's, um, what part of the renovation we're actually at. A month from here today is impressive and I actually do think you will get it done. You yeah. have a great team. There's a piece of land I want to talk about as well next to your house, yeah. which was really smart with what you did. Hopefully we helped as well with that. Um, Absolutely. Telling you what to do with it. I yeah. don't know if we can say that on camera or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go upstairs, take a look and finish the tour of the house, guys. So here we are up in the loft. This is where he's gonna take it from a two bedroom to a four bedroom, which is pretty impressive to yeah. be honest. 
Um, explain what you're doing with these, because there was a wall here in the previous video, wasn't there? Yes, yeah, so in the previous video, there was a wall here. The doorway is way too small, and with these beams, we're not really going to get a, a proper size door in. So these are going to be realigned up to give support to the roof, opening up this space. You're going to have this box thin and a, a decent sized double bedroom. Okay, so these here are going to start from here to go straight down. Yeah, that's right. And your brother's doing that for you? Yeah, so my brother's a structural engineer, so he's already been to the house, had a look around, yeah. and he's okay to the, that. The support underneath with the steel beams and the brick wall, that's going to have a, a plenty of support to support okay. this. So a structural engineer lines. has passed it and said that that can be done? Yeah, that can be done. That's absolutely perfect. Handy to have a brother who's got that qualification. Definitely. There was a chimney breast there? Yeah, chimney breast that went straight down, that's been taken out. Roof's been patched over and yep. everything. Fantastic. So guys, this is going to be the master bedroom. Yep. Um, where's the door for the master bedroom going to be? So it's quite a decent size. Yep. So we're going to, I've spoken to the tenant because I want his input because he's going to be living here and potentially buying the house in the future. Yep. He wants to have these beams and leave this a nice big open space. Yep. New window is going to be put in. Hallway here and the same again with these beams cut open it up a nice decent doorway so we can have the door entrance. Okay, so the center. door for the master bedroom is going to be for here, for there. Yes. And then these beams are also going to be cut yep. back exactly the same again. And then you mentioned that here on the right hand side to us, left hand side to you guys, is going to be a small bathroom. Yeah, so we've got the main uh, four piece bathroom downstairs. So it doesn't make any sense really to get a shower and bath put in up here. But if you're upstairs, you want, want to be able to use a toilet and bathroom. So you've got, so the, you've got the main bathroom piece, downstairs. Main bathroom downstairs, sink and toilet upstairs. Okay. Okay. For and the main master bedroom. Just behind you guys at home, there's another bedroom behind you, which you'll see in a second. Yep. So, first project, how have you managed this refurb? How, how have you found it? So, I originally went to have a look at a few properties, didn't have any intentions of buying anything. I spoke with the estate agent and she said that they had one property that they've just taken the keys for on that day if I wanted to take a look. Yep. I said, yeah, sure thing. Came and had a look and I knew straight away I needed this house. Okay. And the refurb, how have you managed? You refurb, um, I started the works myself with a bit of support from, from my dad. He's a plumber and a bit of an all-rounder. My brother, we spoke about, he's a construction engineer, so yep. he okayed the majority of the works. Okay. Soon after, I realized it's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, refurb, refurbs, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot to it, yeah. isn't there? Um, so I've taken on board uh, an electrician, a builder who has been in the trade for over 15 years. He's working really closely with me um, and he's pretty much going to smash everything out now. That's really good. And you said it's going to be done within the month? Hopefully, within wow. the month. Guys, we have just bought a property at the bottom of this road for the 100k to the million challenge and you have kindly offered to manage the refurb for yep. us. To be honest with you, after seeing what you've done here, I am very, very confident that you can handle this, no problem. And I'm sure that's another cobweb that's come on somewhere. I have no idea. And then I've nearly <laughs> fell over as well. But, so, guys, it's live. This happens. We don't take two takes. What do you want me to do? Right, so yeah, so you're gonna manage our refer for yep, us. Definitely. Um, we have faith in you. We've just been down there. We've just gone through all the numbers and everything that we want doing. Um, confidence? Yeah. Very I'm confident. Right. That wasn't like a, I've got I reckon I'll, I'll get it done. I'll, I'll get it done. I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident in my builder and his his experience and everything. And if I'm worried about anything, like I've said, my brother with his background, he's going to give me some support if and it's we'll, needed. Yeah, we're always on the end of the phone. Exactly. But I mean, it's not like we're not going. I'm not going to have everything done 100 percent to myself. I'm going to relay with yeah. you and make sure everything. We're is very happy. Sorted. We're very confident. Um, yeah. Again, guys. If you want to learn how to do this stuff, you genuinely need to join the property circle. You'll be taught by me myself. Um, I have nothing else to say because this is what we do. It's who we are. We can make shit happen all the time. Zach has took this refurb on um, before you was a member of the property circle, but obviously we've massively helped since then. Yeah. Um, I want you to see the garden and I want you to see the piece of land that's on the side as well because what we've done with the piece of land. So uh, we've got that from the council and we won't go into how we've uh, obtained it, but it's a decent chunk added to the property. We have it. And guys, the reason I keep looking to the right is because Max is behind the camera dancing and he's not going to tell you so. Then maybe you want to pan around and show what he's doing with his calves. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> guys, let's go and check out the garden and the piece of land. That's the rung hole. <laughs> That's the petrol. <laughs> Come on, guys. Max, you've got to hold on to that to let me lift you up in the air. Oh, I missed the floor. <laughs> Guys, 
guys, look at the size of the back garden of this house. It's absolutely huge. Loads of trees to take down. There's a massive shed building. I don't know what that is. What is that, Zach? Yeah, we didn't really know that was there until we started cutting everything down. But yeah, it's a decent sized brick garage. Yeah, wait um, till you guys see that. That's so huge. The, the bloke behind me, Collier's, uh, he's the one who's going to be renting this property and he's helping out. Uh, he's got a lovely Rottweiler. So maybe we're going to convert that into a nice little uh, house or den for his uh, That's his huge, that is. It's decent size. Yeah, it's massive. I can't believe how big that is. This tree's coming down next weekend as well. So we've already taken this one down. That was the, the problem with being a bit too close to the property. Yep. So that's come down. Well, you can see on the roof where yeah. all the moss from the tree is coming yeah. down. That could cause issues, that could. Definitely. So this yeah. one's coming down next weekend. So that was smart doing that. All these trees, all this. Yeah, so all this? this is coming down all up here. And the laurel there, that's coming down. We've got a wood chipper coming in and we're gonna get rid of everything. So the garden is absolutely massive, guys. As you can see up there, there's a piece of land that runs all the way back, the full length of this, all the way to the front of the house. That was council owned. It is now owned by Zach. What happened was it was overgrown. There was rubbish everywhere. We had a conversation. Yeah. I told him what to do, mentioned a few bits and pieces and lo and behold, a month later, it's now part of the property. It's now part of the property. So not only has he added maybe half the square footage yeah, for it's free, a size. Um, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's probably, well, no, sorry, that's the, that's the wrong word. It is the best house on the street, it without a shadow of a doubt. It is now, and it'll guys, be even better. I can't wait for you guys to see this view from here, because this actually shows you the real, the real size of the house. If you want to come round, actually, if you want to walk through, watch your step there. If you want to go around, you can see, I mean, look at it. It's absolutely huge. You must be over the moon. I'm chuffed. For, um, for my first ever property I've bought. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Are you going to render it? Uh, yeah, probably going to get this rendered. It's going to massively look amazing. I think you should render it. I yeah. always say render. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a great house. Um, again, come up today, had a look at our house that we bought. Had a look at your house, first time I've seen it. Definitely, definitely very impressed. I mean, we do this every single day and this has actually impressed me. Um, so yeah, guys, what do you think at home? Let us know in the um, comment section below. Tell us what you think. Um, any questions you got for Zach as well, because it's his yeah. first property. Any questions at all, Zach will answer them. Um, we'll put his Instagram and everything in the, in the video. There you have it, guys. Quick video from us at the Property Circle and me, Stephen Hamilton, the founder. Zach Collins joined the property circle around two months ago. This is his first venture. He's going to make £50,000 profit, hopefully, fingers crossed. In today's market, he might actually make a little bit more. So if you guys want to start learning and understanding how to do things like this, get in touch. There's a link in the description below. Fill it in. We'll give you a call, have a conversation with you and see how we can help you. But for now, I'm off to Nando's. Shock. Catch you in the next video, guys.